Hello and welcome to Planted Nutrition. My name's Luke, I'm a qualified nutritionist, and in this video I'm gonna talk about what I think is one of the most important aspects of nutrition that I feel like nearly no one is talking about, at least I don't really see anyone online mentioning this, and that is our relationship with our food. And so what do I mean by relationship with our food? By that I literally just mean how we feel psychologically or emotionally towards our food. And the reason that this is so important is because all of us, we eat every day. And if we do feel, you know, strong emotions or difficulties with certain foods or stress or anxiety around mealtime, maybe about certain foods, eating too much or not enough or whatever it is, it can look very different for different people. But in my opinion, it can actually have quite an effect on our health and our mental health especially. And I feel like people don't give this nearly enough credit when it comes to talking about eating a healthy balanced diet. Because, you know, there's some people online, for example, that are saying these foods are toxic, you need to avoid them to improve your health. But maybe actually the stress or anxiety that we feel about having a tiny amount of oil in our food or, or having some slightly more processed ingredients, that might actually be having more of a negative effect on our health than eating some of these foods in the context of a healthy diet. And I can add to this my own story as well because this is something I've been through and I think a lot of us in the health space, you know, we've got into this because we had our own kind of health journey that we've been through. We want to support other people and a lot of you maybe who are interested in improving your health, we're looking online for information, we're wanting to learn more and make better choices. But the problem is that a lot of the information that we get online it's not always the best and it's not always coming from the most reliable sources and I mean when I was younger and I first went vegan I was following a lot of like vegan influences and this is the same in lots of different things now it's like the carnivore diet or paleo or keto whatever it is but then you kind of pick up some things along the way like like I used to follow people that were saying that oil is really unhealthy and it's actually not a good part of a healthy diet and I really believed that but I didn't really think about this too clearly or actually before that I was following more like keto influences that were like you need to eat lots of coconut oil because it's really good for you so I was even putting coconut oil in my smoothies and making these disgusting shakes with like protein powder and coconut oil and like very thick and man still remember those but anyway a lot of us have been through different journeys with this all of this to say it is important that we're mindful of where we're getting our information from for example because as I studied nutrition more and we look at lots of research on people eating healthy diets and what ingredients are good to include oil for example especially oils like olive oil extra virgin olive oil can definitely be a healthy part of a healthy diet they actually contain really beneficial fats that can help us to be healthier especially compared to maybe saturated fats for example we can shift more towards monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats and so if you're someone that's struggling with this as well and you're finding that maybe you are feeling quite anxious about food, maybe you're worried about certain ingredients because of information you've seen online, maybe if you're going out to a friend's house or to a restaurant, you're feeling a bit anxious about what ingredients are they using in the kitchen and how will that affect my health? I'd just like to share some tips to help with that and I've talked a little bit about this. The first one, just being really mindful where we're getting our information from. So. It doesn't take any qualifications to go online and make a video about nutrition. And we all have certain ideas about nutrition and maybe certain beliefs that we've gotten from growing up because we all eat. So everyone has a little bit of an idea about what is a healthy or an unhealthy diet. And maybe their beliefs like fat will make us fat or carbs will make us fat or things like oils are really toxic or we shouldn't eat too much of certain foods. And I mean, there's just an enormous amount of information if you open up social media. So many people giving their advice and whether they're doing that from a good place or not. It can be really confusing. And so getting a bit of an understanding about nutrition can be really helpful for that as well. I've got a whole lot of videos on this channel and I'm continuing to make videos. What I'm really trying to encourage is having a holistic and healthy approach to nutrition and it's not about 
getting rid of things or cutting things out from our diet. And I'd love you to be really careful about people that you follow or see online who are using language like this, like foods are toxic or you should never eat this certain thing. Because even if a certain food is maybe slightly less healthy, we've got like the least healthy food here and then poison. <laughs> and some people online are comparing these foods to poison and it's like, even if you're eating less healthy food for a long, long time, it's not gonna kill you, at least not right away. And so this could look like maybe curating your feeds online. So if you're seeing videos that are coming up, maybe from people that you're following and you're starting to realize actually, yeah, they're not really putting out something that's making me feel good and making me feel empowered about the food choices that I make. Making. Maybe it is a good time to hit unfollow on that or on platforms like Instagram if you tap the three dots in the top corner you can say show me less of this content. So you're not seeing videos that are going to be making you more confused and feeling less good about the food choices that you're making. And then as well just understanding about nutrition. Every expert on nutrition agrees eating a balanced diet is the key towards long-term health. That's eating lots of things like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, like beans and chickpeas, whole grains. That's what I'm talking about on this channel because I specialize in vegan and plant-based nutrition. But obviously, if you're not eating a plant-based diet, you can also include other animal foods as well. Basically, we're wanting to focus on eating more whole foods, including more whole fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, and whole grains, rather than trying to think about cutting things out from our diet to make us healthier. We wanna focus on including more of these beneficial foods. So there's a bit of a mindset shift there. We're not creating restrictions or making us feeling like we're depriving ourselves. We can still include our favorite foods if we love ice cream or donuts or candy. They can still be part of a healthy, balanced diet. But as long as we're focusing on those foundations, we can build upon that. We can have treats, we can do what we want, but we've got a solid foundation of a healthy, balanced diet that's going to be supporting our health. And once we understand that, we can relax a little bit. We know if we go out to dinner and we eat something that's full of oil and salt, it's not going to hurt us because it's the things that we do most of the time that determine our long-term health, not the things that we do sometimes. And if this is something that you're struggling with, it can be really, really helpful to work with a nutrition professional who can help you. And this is the work that I do with my clients. And if you're wanting some support, I'm offering free 30 minute health checkups. So you can come in, have a chat with me, talk about your situation, your goals. And it's really just to empower you to kind of understand where you are so you can move forward with your health and start feeling good about the food that you're eating, feeling confident about the choices that you're making and empowered with your nutrition. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, my friends.